Live from San Diego, California, it's theCUBE. Covering KubeCon and CloudNativeCon. Brought to you by Red Hat, the Cloud Native Computing Foundation and its ecosystem partners. Welcome back to gorgeous San Diego, California. This is KubeCon CloudNativeCon 2019. I'm Stu Miniman, my co-host is John Troyer, and this is the end of three days wall-to-wall -wall coverage, over 12,000 in attendee. Happy to welcome to the program Matt Cassio, who's the executive director at the national headquarters for the American Red Cross. Matt, uh, thank you American Red Cross, and thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, no, thanks for having me. Uh, it's been a great conference so far. Uh, you know, we're here to share our story as an end user on uh, our journey with cloud native, with Kubernetes, uh, and, and how that helps Red Cross do what we do, which is um, you know, help people in need uh, as best we can every day. You know, so it, no matter what industry I talk to, everybody's dealing with change. There's always more things happening. Uh, American Red Cross, I mean, you know, it feels like I hear American Red Cross mention more uh, as time goes on because you know everything from you know things related to climate through uh, you know global events and the like. Uh, so maybe before we get into some of the tech, just you know give us you know you know your role there and how kind of the the, the changing world impacts uh, your, your your organization. Sure. So my my role is to support a, a few different uh, business units. One is uh, uh, biomedical marketing, we try to recruit blood donors to uh, give blood at redcrossblood.org and other channels. Um, that's obviously a significant part of what we do. Uh, we're a major player in the blood supply market in the U.S. We provide services to the armed forces, uh, you know, in that regard as well. So that's uh, part of it. Part of it is I work with humanitarian services group as well to recruit financial donors uh, and recruit volunteers. Um, that's primarily through redcross.org, uh, at least as far as you know, my group goes. Uh, and then corporate brand marketing and chapter related uh, marketing and communication. So all of that happens through redcross.org and redcrossblood.org and some related platforms. Uh, and those are you know, flagship brand products. Okay, and what led to American Red Cross being part of this cloud native computing yeah, ecosystem. You, our journey is a lot like uh, you know a lot of other folks. Um, we had a very uh, you know monolithic type of architecture. We had all of these different business units with with different priorities, different timelines, different needs, wrapped up into one big uh, monster of a platform that you know kind of bundled up risk for everybody in this one platform and. Uh, you know, we'd always have uh, collisions of uh, priorities, mostly. Uh, not to mention the resource issues of who's going to work, you know, on what at what time. And so, a few years ago, we started talking about breaking that down, and um, we've been lucky to have some technical leaders that uh, are, um, you know, very aware of and welcoming to new uh, cloud-native technologies. We decided at that time to pursue uh, you know, a cloud native architecture and what we have today, you know, a few years later, is two years worth of being in production with uh, a platform that runs on Amazon. Uh, we take advantage of a lot of the native uh, orchestration tools there for running our clusters. Uh, and we've been able to service you know, those different needs in a much more nimble way uh, we can release something for redcrossblood.org without risking much on the you know, financial donation side or on the volunteer recruitment side. And likewise, you know, for those other groups, we can uh, kind of um, separate out the risks for each of those groups. And that's, that's been a great, great benefit. You've been on the, on the, uh, the vendor side, the for-profit side. Is, there, is IT very different at, at the nonprofit? Uh, if, if you're looking, people are looking to you know get hired yeah. there. Yeah, you know, um, I have been doing it a long time. A lot of different perspectives, but I think uh, you know what I try to do, and what I think I, I've seen work best is when IT is not the ticket taker. You know, integrated with the business. I'm very fortunate to have some business partners at Red Cross that collaborate. You know, every day we're having conversations. Every day, um, we have some people on our team that feel as though they're accountable for business outcomes, not just 
you know, doing cool technology things. Um, you know, for example, you know, multi-year uh, evolution of process related to being more agile. We've got so much more integration and communication with business teams. We've gone from, you know, something like one release every five months to we now do two a week. You know, and I think we could do more. It's just we don't have the need to do more, um, and and that's a huge, huge, um, a big lift. You know, there's a lot of conversations that need to happen sure. to make that work. Yeah, well, and it's all a journey, right? We're all it's, we're all improving, continuous improvement. But yeah. so a follow up there. So as an IT leader. Uh, for a very large organization, you know, there one of the things people are saying this year is, wow, the conference is big, so many new technologies, so many new companies, so many new open source projects. You know, you're in the middle of this journey, you can't screw it up, right? That, that, yeah. that would be disastrous. So how do you, how do you, how does you and your organization look at new technologies and, and pick out which new technologies to try and, and incorporate them into your stack and your portfolio? Right, so we wanted to be uh, cloud native, we wanted to, do um, you know focus on projects that where we knew there were skills in the marketplace uh, that we could acquire at our price point? You know we try to be good stewards of donor dollars. At the end of the day, you know all the money we have comes from folks like you and and you guys who support Red Cross. You know and thank you very much for all that generous support. Um, and so we try to spend that money uh, you know very carefully. Um, we have some people who are, uh, you know, employees on our team, maybe about 25 or so. Um, but one of the great things we've been able to do with some of these technologies now is uh, we have a program called Code for Good. Uh, it's a volunteer workforce where we're here recruiting volunteers with this skill set that, you know, they have a day job, um, but they have an interest in supporting Red Cross. Uh, maybe not financially, maybe not with their blood, but they can give us some time uh, and their skills. And, and we run it like an open source project. We set out a roadmap of features for you know, six months or so. We have planning sessions. We say, listen, you know, if you can sign up for a feature that you, because you have two hours this week to work, great. Uh, you have six hours, great. You just had a baby and you're not available for three months, fine. You know, we, we want to have a, uh, you know, a bench of people that can self-select based on their time commitment, what to work on, and uh, somehow it's been, been working great. You know, we started this in June, we have about 30 uh, volunteers now, uh, and we've already delivered a, an app for Slack that is kind of a workplace app where you can, you know, if your organization works with us, you can donate right from Slack, you can give a schedule a blood donation appointment, do kind of things like that. Yeah, I, I, I love that model. It's something that you know we, we looked at years ago. That kind of micro participation, if you will. Yes. Um, you, you know, you think it's like you know Wikipedia wouldn't have been built if it wasn't for everybody just spending a little bit of time on it. Uh, I, I'm curious. Does something like participating uh, with, with uh, you know this ecosystem? have generalized tools that people know and can plug in with as opposed to you know, having to know your direct stack. Um, is, is that helpful uh, to kind of be able to recruit people uh, into that environment? You know, what, what are the kind of most needed skills uh, and uh, usages that, that you're recruiting for? Yeah, it is. Um, you know, our learning curve at this point is much smaller than it was on our previous platform because of the fact that we're using technologies people are familiar with. Um, you know, things like Docker, we use a lot. Uh, we just started um, evaluating Prometheus, another CNCF uh, project uh, for monitoring some non-prod systems. Hopefully that'll graduate into production systems. Um, so from a technology standpoint, yes, yes, we find that, you know, the people we talk with can walk in and be productive sooner. You know, there's still the Red Cross specific things they need to know about, you know, how we do business, but um, you know, at least at this point it's that and not some proprietary system that they also have to learn. Yeah, um, any learnings that you've had participating in the CNCF uh, with the rollout of the technologies that, that you share with your peers? Uh, you know, I love the CNCF as very um, uh, maintainer driven, you know, uh, and, and user driven. I, I, I heard today at one of the analyst panels I did, I think maybe 30% of people here are end users. Um, that's a pretty large number. Um, you know, the fact that we can come here and learn about 
technologies, meet people, meet vendors, uh, meet some of the people uh, contributing code. Um, it's a lot different than you know, maybe some, some uh, summit sponsored by a for-profit vendor that wants to uh, you know, generate leads and sell you things. Uh, it feels much more uh, community driven here and, and, and open to uh, lots of different perspectives. Nice. And so now, what are you looking forward to in the next few years, in both in terms of your stack and maybe you know, coming back to KubeCon? Yeah, you know, we, we, it's funny, we've started to see other parts of Red Cross come to us to learn about Kubernetes uh, because the vendors they work with uh, are mentioning these things and, and, and we have been early adopters as far as you know, Red Cross goes, our group. Um, and I think it's great if we can you know, expand usage of um, you know, cloud native technologies to other parts of the organization uh, and, and really get some economies of scale. So that, that's part of what we're trying to do is kind of internal uh, consulting, knowledge sharing, collaboration. Uh, and then as far as what we're doing on our team, you know, we, we just really want to focus on, uh, we're at a stable point in the, in the platform and we want to do some things around monitoring and alerting that you know, reduce those uh, incident outages to nothing, hopefully, <laughs> um, and, and, and work on that. Are you looking at a few projects that are, that are being worked on here for that? Uh, so yeah, this Prometheus uh, project, like I said, we're piloting that. Uh, okay. You know, I would say in four or five months' time, we'll know if that's going to be something we can, you know, put some more investment into. All right, Matt, want to give you the final word? Uh, Redcross.org/slash/code-for-good, I believe, is the website. Yes, yes. Uh, what, what else? Uh, Redcross.org/code for the number four good. Okay. Uh, and you know, if you're interested in volunteering, we need uh, technical skills, we need team leadership skills, product owner skills. Uh, so it's not just about you know developing features and and ops engineers as well. So. Thanks for your time. Uh, I want to say hi to my daughter, Peyton. It's late on the East Coast, so go to bed now. <laughs> uh, but thanks, folks, appreciate it. All right, it. Well, well, Matt, and, and actually, that is the final word for our day <laughs> one of coverage. Uh, for John Troyer, I'm Stu Miniman. Be sure to join us tomorrow. Uh, we've got two more days, wall-to-wall -wall coverage here, lots of great speakers. Really appreciate when we've got the end users on. Uh, Matt, thank you so much, and uh, you know, great mission, the Code for Good. Uh, we definitely hope that uh, the community here uh, you know, reaches out and, and connects and participates. Uh, so uh, that's it for today. Thanks, as all, for watching theCUBE.